In our GMA cover story, from General Hospital to Full House to playing with the Beach Boys, our next guest has been entertaining us for the past 40 years, and now John Stamos is making headlines with his candid, revealing new memoir. It's called mm -hmm. If You Would Have Told Me. John, we love you. I yeah. love you Oh, all my too. gosh. George, it's not too late. Please run for president. Man. Oh, Greeks have to stick together. I know. Right? I know. <laughs> the of you two. Uh, can we just say, you go there. You do not hold back. And thank you for not well, holding back. And, and right in, in the first chapter, you write about your DUI mm -hmm. in 2015 that led to you going to, to rehab. And you said at that time, what did you say? That you'd be okay? Dying. I didn't want to kill myself, but if I, I, in my stupid foggy head, I, I said, well, if I die, it's okay. I've done everything. I got a sitcom. I, I play with mm. the Beach Boy. What a fool. No, it was hard. And I, I started out, I set out to write a hero story. It's like, I did this and I did that. It's mm. like, no, man. And it turned into a human story. Without truth, it's paralysis, I think. And so I was like, ah, oh, it just, it just. Was there a moment out. when you decided to switch gears on it? Yeah, pretty early. You know, I just I started to read <laughs> read it and was like, "This is bold. That's mm. not real. That's not real." You know, why do it? I guess is the thing. Yeah. yeah, and and it's also a love letter to, my, to all the beautiful people that have been in and out of my life, and so I wanted to highlight that as well. One of the areas that you went there uh, is is was pro I'm sure very difficult. Um, you were sexually abused as a kid, and decided now is the time. Something that you had known for a, a bit. Um, or realized, uh, mm -hmm. you remembered that this had happened, but yes. you decided that this book was the place to do it. Well, I, I, I've been advocating for child abuse for close to 40 years. Uh, this uh, organization called Child Help, which is prevention of, of child abuse. And I was at a, about five years ago, I was at a charity and I started to write out a speech and it just came back. I hadn't thought about it in, you know, 30 years. Wow, I started crying. And I thought, do I talk about it tonight? No, tonight's about the kids. I'm going to pack it away. And then it, and I even forgot, and I'm doing the, I was doing the reading of this, and I was like, wait a minute, this, and it came out, I said, I better put this in, put this mm. in here. I know, and already it's, it's, I've had, I've had so many friends of mine text me and call me and say, oh my God, that happened to me, I haven't been able to talk about it. I think it's one out of every 25 boys and about seven out of every 25 girls before they turn 18. Wow. Mm. Uh, but those numbers have to be low because certainly boys don't talk about it. So I thought, well, maybe this is the time. Yeah. You yeah. also write about losing your best friend, Bob Saget. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that, I started out with the first chapter, which was the DUI, which was the, whole, the worst moment of my life, and the five stages of grief there were, you know, sex, drugs, more, more terrible stuff. And then I wrote this, the Bob uh, chapter, the day I found out he died. And the five stages of grief there were therapy and family and health and meditation, and then I had to, you know, get through it. But the Bob part, it, his wife called me the other day crying. She said, you know, if you don't know Bob, and you read this book, you know the real Bob. You did a beautiful job of representing him. So. Uh -oh. yeah. and, and the important thing is I talk about him a lot because if I don't, you know, you'll he, hear him complaining <laughs> no, no, somewhere, no, right? No, exactly. That's us in exactly. Greece. That was me. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. I know. There had to be so many parts of this, as you just described, that were hard. But it surprised you that the hardest part in writing the book was about Full House. Yeah. Why, why was that so hard for you to write about? Well, I know how, I know how important the show is mm -hmm. to people. And, and I, I discovered my story along the way. You know, I was like, oh, that's, I didn't, I didn't ever thought I'd write a book ever. But as I was writing, I was like, oh, that's interesting. And I tried to, you know, you know, kind of hone in on the, on the uh, human moments that people could relate mm -hmm. to. But the Full House, um, I just, I knew it was important to people. And until, uh, the, the creator of the show, Jeff Franklin, was over the other day and he was writing a book. He said, when did you come to terms with Full House? I said, mm -hmm. when I wrote that book. Because wow. I'd never written it down. And what it was, you know, the critics got in my ear. And they didn't have anything over me. I, I knew the show was facile. I knew it was corny at times. But it, it, it wasn't meant for you if you don't get it. Right. Right? Exactly. And underneath, you know, in lieu of sophistication, there was sweetness. And it gave time for the brain to step aside and the heart to feel something. Yep. And as soon as I realized that, I went, oh, I get it. So did you feel the conflict when you were doing the show? Oh, yeah. I didn't like it when I did it. Well, I mean, it was, they told me it was going to be uh, like... Um, uh, like uh, bosom buddies, three guys, and you know maybe the girls will be, you know, <laughs> the kids will be back there. Yeah. But I learned to love it pretty soon. Bob and I did not get along, and that's that's sort of where I started the Full House stuff. It was we had very different processes. You know, I came from sitcom. Uh, I just worked with Jack Klugman, and we, we yeah. tore apart oh, every yeah. scene. Yeah. And Bob was he was addicted to laughs. I mean, he had mm -hmm. it was a drug for him, and he had to make people laugh. And if it wasn't getting in the show, it was the crew. And uh, I love the crew, but. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so it was, a, yeah, it started off that way. Yeah. But it was, it, you know, it's, it, the, it was, um, that kind of hit only happens one, if you're lucky mm. once in a life. All the stars lined up. And, you know, the show was, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a divisive world, it was a home-cooked meal of comfort. Yep. Comfort well food. Put. Sweetness. Yep. Yeah. It was great. It really was. Everybody loved it. Um, one glimpse into your very personal life was these notes that you included oh. from your mom over the years. Yes. Um, we have one. You, you posted this on shows, social media. It said, she wrote you, if a smile comes to you, a happy smile that perhaps you can't explain, it's because in that moment, I'm thinking of you and smiling mm. too. Love and kisses, mom. I love those. Yeah. I'm smiling, Mom. <laughs> um, yeah, I, again, I didn't know where to start with this book, and I remembered I had all these notes. My sisters had them, and so I gathered them up and sort of put them together. I said, oh, there's the road map uh, that I need to follow throughout this book. Yeah. What did your parents teach you about being a parent? Ooh, that's good. I wish they were around, as I have a million questions. I'll ask you guys after. <laughs> um, but my dad, I watched my dad. I, I mean, I think more example. I watched my father, and he it was in the restaurant business, and he treated... His, the bus boy the same way he treated the mm -hmm. best customer. You know, he was always good to people. So I tried to do that and yeah. so just came. Well, you're always good to us. You're always good to us. And thank uh -huh. you. And, you know, vulnerability, that's, that takes real strength. Yeah. It really does. And you share so much, John. Thank Wishing you. you all the best. And what is it about? Tomorrow? The yes, book? tomorrow, yeah. Da -da? Yeah. If you would have told me, mm -hmm. it is out tomorrow. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.